I really didn't think that through, did I? Of course not. It'd be too easy. Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to some more Planet Crafter. As you can see, I have been busy. I have done a little bit of work on the base here. I added, added a few floors. Uh, top floor, I put the heaters up there so they weren't so noisy. Oh, stuff falling from the sky. Um, so middle floor there is where I got the, the veggie tubes and I was going to put the uh, food growers up there. And I got storage on the bottom level here. And I'll show you this. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like I might have wasted my time doing this because... Uh, I'll show you the storage here. As you can see, I got a uh, cabinet set up. Uh, I noticed too the cabinets, uh, the door actually opens when you highlight it. Now it's looking at it, it's like, well, that's kind of an odd model having the door stuck ajar like that. And then I realized it was when you put the mouse over it that it opens. Uh, but needless to say, I have got resources. I have lots of resources. I got all these cabinets basically full. There's a storm coming in. Uh, and then you go up here, I got the food growers up here, cabinet for the seeds, and I go up here to the top floor, and that's where I put the heaters to keep the noise down. Uh, unfortunately, uh, what I didn't realize is I overlooked something, something I knew about in a game that I just didn't think about this. I picked the worst place to set up my base. Uh, I knew there was water, I knew there was going to be rivers, lakes, and all that stuff, and it completely didn't, it did not occur to me that this was actually a, uh, a lake bed. Uh, I know in some areas, not necessarily up here, but over there you can see like cracked dirt and whatnot, and that is kind of a sign. Uh, also, too, before I started recording this, I did get another another message, even though the power is off right now, and this is another message from Riley, basically saying I need to get, gain altitude. So I've been thinking about where I was going to build, and I was thinking about that spot just up there, but you know, I was looking around trying to figure out where most the water line would be. Uh, Please, um, no more spoilers, I do want to sort of be surprised by this. I'm trying to figure this out myself because it, it almost looks like the water line could be right around there. But it could be higher up there or maybe up top there for all in all. I know this whole place was going to be flooded, but uh, it would be interesting to find out. I do have been watching Blitz and Dre play and uh, Dre is a crazy Canadian just like me and he's got his base extended off the rock there. So I'm thinking I might do the same thing. I just might move stuff up there and sort of have like a modular area. Uh, I do have some stuff being unlocked soon. Uh, for one, we got going to have the blue sky achievement pretty soon, even though I got it already. But we won't talk about that. Oh, I got to go in. Oh, that's just hydration. Uh, also, yeah, as far as uh, inventory, I am aware about not. I don't need to carry as much with me as I have been. I'm kind of new to the game. And uh, uh, when I was playing the prologue, I kind of explored too far and uh, didn't make it home a few times. So better safe than sorry, right? Uh, but anyways, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start gathering up some stuff and I'll start setting up there. Also, too, I did manage to check and harvest a few things. Uh, apparently, the mushrooms give about 25 food. Uh, the eggplant give... Uh, the mushrooms give 35, I guess. 35, the eggplant gives 25, the beans give 60. And... Uh, I think I had the squash, and I think the squash gave like 45 or something. But uh, that's... That's something. Uh, anyways, just want to point that out. Okay, so here's where I'm going to set up. Um, it's probably overkill, I could probably just lower down or whatever, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and start building up here. Uh, I am going to lay down a foundation just for aesthetic purposes. Uh, I'm going to put a living compartment down on top, if I get it centered properly. Sure, that'll work. Does it even cover? No, it doesn't. Okay, anyway, and then uh, I did bring silicone, so we can put a door in. And then... Um, Oh yeah, there's no power, that's right. As far as the layout goes, I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this. Uh, I do sort of want to go around this rock here. Sort of maybe come out the front, or... Maybe even go up. I wonder if that's even possible. Probably not. You know what, I'm going to actually raise this up a little bit more. Hang on. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I decided to start out with a single, single entrance like this going into sort of a 3x3 main room. And then what I'm going to do is I'm 
probably going to carry on this way. I do want to, like I said, I want to create an area for the heat and uh, for the veggie tubes. I know the veggie tubes are going to be replaced with the biodome when I unlock it fairly soon. So I'm going to continue on here. And add another uh, two by three for like food growing and any other things like that. And we'll continue on down here a few more, a few more spaces. And another two by three at the end of the hall for the heaters. At least uh, they'll be far enough away where hopefully they don't make too much noise. Um, chances are, once we get the higher tiers, I'll probably have to have them outside anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, as far as the biodome, I'm thinking I might just end up branching off of this one here. Uh, when it comes down to it, comes time, maybe. Uh, Go this way and go a little bit further. Maybe go one more and then have them coming off the side like a T or something like that. So next step is going to add some windows. While I'm here and I keep forgetting about it even though I know about it, uh, there's one of those golden chests up here. So let's go up and get this. I have known about this. I have forgotten about it a few times. And I get uh, golden seed, golden effigy, uranium, aluminum, yada yada yada, and... Let's get uh, oh yeah, this, uh, super alloy and aluminum for deconstruction that. Anyway, back at her. Okay, and there we go. A nice little base of the view. You can see the old one down there. So this is what I've done. This is the 2x3, as you can see. See, I went overboard on the windows. I love my windows. Don't question me about it. Uh, so this is going to be the heater room. Uh, should be enough room. I think the heaters are going to be able to be going outside eventually, like I mentioned. Uh, this is going to be sort of like a grow area probably with the veggie tubes in here for now until we get the biodome going then we come down here and this will be the main area i'll probably have a get like a sort of information system in one little area here it'll be a crafting area of one spot there will be a lot of storage around uh, so now the next hurdle is moving everything down there up here so the first thing i'm gonna do is bring you back two days later after recording, after I had uh, moved things and recorded little bits step after step, uh, and after realizing how long it was going to take and battling hunger and vitals and all that stuff, I realized I'd bring you back here where everything is already done. Uh, regarding vitals, uh, I'll show you the base in a second here. Um, I was having trouble with the food again, and I did do some exploring over there to, where the area with the spikes are, grab some food over there, and uh, that wasn't doing too well because of the trek back and all that stuff, so I thought maybe I'd try to reset my stats to the old-fashioned way and let nature take it on its course. Uh, that didn't work because of diminishing returns. So I don't know if it's something to do with the new update, as you know, it's on the top left here. The tutorial's been basically up, uh, reset. There was a small little hot fix, and I guess it reset that. Uh, progression is all still here, uh, not there, uh, here, so yeah, everything's still here. Um, but now every time I log in, my stats, my vitals tend to start out fresh again, so I don't know if that's something that's always been there and I never noticed it, or or what have you, but uh, we are ready to go to get power up and running again. I do have uh, got some storage set up over here, I have everything labeled, I got everything moved over, including dismantling the base, and uh, so far, no holes in here yet, <laughs> but we'll get there eventually. Uh, this is basically a little workstation sta I have here, but I found a golden effigy up on top of the wreck behind us there, so I put that there. Uh, displays, uh, this is a uh, progression, or terraformation status and uh, progression sort of deal, storage. Put a crafter here, uh, ladder goes upstairs to the roof. Uh, up on the roof, we'll go up there. Uh, no, I don't actually have that ladder there anymore. Uh, this one, yes. Go up here, I put a container here, or living apartment there, put the antenna up on top. Uh, I do have to, actually, I do have the transmission screen. Let's go downstairs, it was a little quieter. Actually, what I'll do is I'll bring you back where it is quieter. Okay, that's all done. So, I was looking at what we need for power. Uh, Roughly about 35 short, so I'm going to need uh, at least two solar panels. Uh, the question is, how much iron aluminum do I actually have? I think I only have one. Uh, I thought I had one. I guess I used it already. Uh, regarding aluminum, too, I was always pointing out uh, this area over here. And someone mentioned that's aluminum biome, so maybe we'll go run over there and see what aluminum there is. Uh, but for the rest of the base, I do have uh, seven... Tier 2 veggie tubes set up. This is just temporary because I know that we're getting new ones locked, unlocked pretty soon, which are going to go. I believe they can only go outside. And then down here at the very, very end, I got six heat, six tier 2 heaters set up for now. I know this is all going to change, plus I got uh, 
down there. I've got four drills, so I might get a few more set up. Uh, again, more things are getting unlocked soon, so uh, let's try to get some power going. I do need aluminum, though. I gotta see if I have any laying around. Uh, and by the way, this is all overflow of cobalt and titanium, so we've got plenty of room for expansion. So let me hunt down some aluminum, and I'll be right back. Actually, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna dismantle one of these, make sure I have the inventory space. They get two aluminum from this, so I get, that'll save some power. Raining again? What is this, spring? I swear to God, we just had a meteor shower, like not even two minutes ago. But I can use that, and I can actually make two, to two solar panels out of that. Uh, I'm probably gonna rearrange these two. I'm just thinking about just having a line of solar panels going along the top of the roof like that. So let me do that, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, this should be it. Uh, I did already have the power up and running for just a second. Uh, I know they're overlapping, but they still work. Still counts. Alright, uh, let's see. I should put that one in the wrong spot. I was trying to get it going this way. Try to sort of try to get them somewhat even. And I'll go ahead and take this one down and place it back. Gonna blow a fuse if I keep turning the power on and off like that. And there we go. Oh, oxygen's low. Okay, most people die. Die. Most people hurt themselves or die from falling off the roof. In this game, you run out of oxygen on the roof. So there we are. So as you can see, the terraformation is going up pretty quick. Uh, I do need to get some aluminum. Oh yeah, we gotta start producing oxygen too. Set a cabinet here for the seeds. Uh, I have this golden one too, but we can actually place them all in. I think I might have a few more kicking around too. So put that one in there. Uh, there. There. Actually, I'm going to have to take that one out because I know we're getting uh, the grass crower soon. Okay. And now, what was that? Did I get a mail? Or did I unlock something? What was that? Oh, that wasn't a mail. That's the wrong screen. Hmm. I wasn't paying attention. Of course not. Uh, anyway, uh, oxygen is going up. Terraformation is going up. Uh, I do gotta get some water. Uh, I'll bring you right back. Oh, looks like we're gonna be getting the nuclear reactor pretty soon. Uh, in just a moment, actually. Uh, just looking at a few other things here. The tier 3 heater is a little ways away. But we got the veggie tube actually unlocked in soon. Uh, what I do need to do is go find some more aluminum. So maybe we'll venture off into that direction. Um, I do have food growing. I might actually go until wait till that goes. Oh, there's a reactor there. I don't have any food in here, just seeds. Um, but let me get some stuff together and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm on my way. Uh, I did bring enough to uh, on me to build a shelter with a door with the titanium iron and silicone I need for that. How can I get up that? I have no idea. Uh, I did bring one water and a couple of air oxygen on me. I probably won't need it because I'll just build this shelter. I do need to find some food though. So that is definitely something I gotta keep an eye out for is uh, these chests. Uh, there's still probably about 40% left growth on the, on the beans and the mushroom. So I might have to try to find some food. Now I was told that this area is where you find the aluminum so that's what I'm hoping for and also hoping I can find something to eat in this box hey I found some food uh, I'll save that for now got some aluminum we won't worry about anything else so let's have a look see what's around here I don't think I've actually been here when the weather was nice what do we have down here nothing just a biome there's a rock in the distance Oh, yeah, definitely aluminum. I don't think I can actually do anything with this. At least I think it's aluminum. Hey, aluminum. Found aluminum. Awesome. Alright, um, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna build up a little shelter, I'm gonna do some exploring, and I'll bring you back if I find something interesting or if something goes wrong. Okay, I am finally back. Actually, I didn't take that, very, that, take that long. There is that wreck that's, uh sort of in there. I found a whole bunch of aluminum in there, and I have a lot. I found a piece of iridium too, which I don't think I need for much at the moment, but uh, let's go in here, sort my inventory, and 
That is a lot of aluminum. Found some food too, and also a blueprint. So let's see what we get out of this. That is the wrong thing to do. Go over here, we decode this, and uh, the mapping screen, which of course comes with the, the rocket that we get with the launch platform eventually. Uh, which I don't think I have unlocked yet. No, I don't. Uh, what I did do is choose the wrong screen again. Uh, we did get the advanced crafting system unlocked. Uh, next is the launch platform at 345. And other than that, we haven't done too much else except get a lot of aluminum so we can actually start uh, increasing production or not production, uh, terraformation. Yes. And the food's almost done. And it's raining again. Of course it is, because I'm about to go up on the roof and put more solar panels in. Anyway, uh, let me take care of that, and I'll be bringing you right back. Oh, yes, by the way, even though it may not look or sound like it, we do have blue sky. Anyway. Okay, there we go. I put in a whole bunch more. I have absolutely no idea how, many, how much power I'm actually generating right now. I do gotta quickly check my recording quickly. Make sure I am recording. Good. Uh, you know, a professional YouTuber, right? Anyway, uh, let's see how the power situation is doing. Oh, I went to the right screen this time. 250, and we're using 100. That means, let's get some more drills. Uh, iron, titanium, and aluminum. Uh, get two more. So I need iron. Uh, let's... i got to remember to take it out of the other chest. Uh, let me go to get two more drills set up. Okay. Now, let's uh, see what I'm going to need for these uh, tier 3 veggie tubes. Uh, where are they here? Uh, silicone, aluminum, magnesium. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, what do I get back from the other ones? The tier 2. The ice. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, pretty much the same thing. Alright, uh, let me get those set up. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, and as I couldn't have my vitals, uh, the food's ready. We've got the beans and we've got the squash. That actually looks like a giant onion to me. To me. Uh, go ahead and eat the beans. And then we'll go ahead and replant them. Beans, squash, self-sustaining. Let's see if, how long that lasts. I do have emergency food just in case in here, along with all my overflow. So, yeah, let me get the veggie tubes done. Okay, so I ended up making four of them. I want to save some aluminum. I got one piece of aluminum. I'll have to go back there and get some more. But let's go ahead and we'll put the golden seed in one. And I was looking at them. These are actually super highly efficient compared to the tier two. And then we'll put the... Pestera and the other ones, because they do 200%. And that uh, terraformation index is just climbing right now. Let's actually see where we're at. Uh, well, did want to get some more heaters going, but uh, I'm not exactly sh sure how well that's doing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wow, the oxygen's really going up. We're actually going to be getting... I think we're getting uh, the next heater soon. Uh, getting a biodome pretty quick, too. Uh, yeah, tier 3 heater at 60. Is that 60 or 80? That's 80. Okay, we're not there yet. And ore extractor. Huh, interesting to see how that one works. And, uh, of course, other things. So, anyways, let's go ahead and have a look at this advanced craft while we're waiting. Uh, I need aluminum. I'll be right back. Oh, would you look at that? We're starting to see clouds in the sky already. I didn't actually check to see how far we are, how far we are from the cloud level, but interesting. I know we're going to be getting rain soon too. Anyway, I have returned the whole bunch of aluminum, another bl blueprint microchip, and with some new stuff unlocked. And also, let's see how far we are. Oh, we're twelve percent rain, thirteen percent rain, which means the first precipitation is plant seen in a while. Uh, let's see how things are doing here won't mean much, but we're unlocking stuff, so that means something. Uh, I got the launch platform, uh, here tier 3, got the biodome, and uh, the ore extractor, and I'm guessing, I'm assuming the ore extractor I'd take over to the aluminum biome there to get aluminum. Uh, but anyways, let's go uh, decode this microchip first, see what we get. Uh, ooh, a new lamp, yay, we have light. Great. So, yeah, for the heater, I need iridium rods, which I know I need to make in the crafter ore. That actually generates a lot of heat. Because I know I got one of those, but I know we're going to need start needing stuff for the 
Uh, the jetpack and all that stuff. I do want to get this going eventually, but I need the super alloy. And the super alloy and all you get crafted in this. So I think maybe what we'll do to end the episode is I'll go ahead and we'll place this down. Um, I'm wondering where I should put it. Uh, I might actually... If it's not obstructed, I might actually put it right here. Now, what did I need for it? I need a titanium, magnesium, and silicone. Uh, let's put some of this aluminum away first. Wow, I actually have aluminum. So what was it? Uh, titanium, titanium, magnesium. Okay, uh, it's not titanium. Uh, titanium's over here. Grab a couple of those. Magnesium and silicone. Right. Aha. Eureka! We can build it. Now, is that going to obstruct that? Yes, it is. Okay, let's, uh... Hmm. You guys are going to put this right over here, since we're not going to be using this area for the... the veggie tables anymore, or the veggie tubes. So, yeah, and then here we're going to make the... rocket engines for the jetpack, and there's a... I've seen there's actually higher tiers of the jetpack. I can make the rods, a tier 4 backpack. Tier 4 oxygen tank again all need super alloys, which of course needs aluminum like everything else in the game. But here we are, we are progressing, we are reaching 450. Oh, there we go. We can make grass. And oh my god, I actually have everything on me for that. No, I don't. I am missing. I'm missing that. Here we are. Blue skies. And oh, hang on. Hang on. As I was saying, blue skies and greener pastures. Look okay, at a nice little front yard set up for us. So there we go. We're generating the first grass on the planet. Or the first vegetation. Uh, I know it does generate biomass and other stuff. Um, like there's something else we're supposed to be unlocking soon, which allows us to get. Biomass, which allows us to do something with it. I have no idea. Uh, let me stand here for a minute and watch grass grow. It is just that easy. See? What are they saying? Gra watching grass grow is not hard. To watch it paint dry, that's a hard part. Anyways, I think I'm going to call this one here. It's been a little while in the making of this episode. I'm going to get it edited and record up for you guys in the morning so uh thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later i need a launcher or a hammock